What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode. And the reason for my absence has been because of the traveling that I've been doing here recently and being <clears throat> down south and not having um, my computer and good service to get uploaded the way that I would have liked to. But here we are. I'm back home. I'm actually mixing up some bait. Um, you guys saw just a snippet of that. If you would like to pick some of that up, it works great for exotics, whitetail, hogs, you name it, works great. Um, I'm mixing up a batch for some orders that are going out and that's what I'm in the process of doing. So, But the bait is linked down in the description below on my website as well as some of the new hats. You guys can go check these out. These are the, um, the brown and the khaki back. These are my favorite that I've had made so far, I think. So I'm really pumped about these, but these are down there as well. Um, but I want to tell you guys just a little bit about this hunt because I will, I'm still kind of speechless. Let me just put it that way. It was a great, um, an amazing experience. And I was super, super thankful to have the opportunity to go and hunt Nilgai antelope in South Texas. For those of you that are wondering, I was hunting on the El Sal's ranch <clears throat> and you guys can check out their social media. I will have it linked down in the description below. And so if any of you are interested in going and hunting Nilgai antelope, at that particular ranch. It's a beautiful country, by the way. Um, you guys can go down there and check them out or at least give them a follow on their social media. Now, my girlfriend and her grandpa, Poppy, as you guys will hear me refer to him as in this video, um, we decided to load up in a Tom car and take off and go hunting for some new guy cows. Um, there was a, a big number of them that needed to be managed and brought then the numbers needed to be brought back down and so that was our main goal for the afternoon um, we made a, a couple of stalks right there in the beginning the wind shifted on us we had some new guy cows that had, that had busted um, we loaded back up headed on down the road to see if we could find some more and sure enough we see a bull probably five or six hundred yards out in this field and we originally started to put some put the sneaks up on him and poppy was telling us he said these things they like to travel in groups so he said the closer we get to them and the more we're able to see in that little open area where they're at we're most likely going to find some cows and sure enough um, we get up there there were some more cows caught our wind now you guys will you guys will have to forgive me um, my uh, my girlfriend Kaylin she isn't this is her first time running the camera. So she's a, she's new to it and the gunshots and holding the camera, you know, the flinching, you guys will see it. Um, it happens, but she's she's new to the camera work. So um, anyway, she did a great job. And I really am appreciative to her for following behind us through all the brush and catching as much as this on, on video as that she could. And so we're cruising down the road and all of a sudden a new guy bull pops out in the road and same story poppy says wait there's going to be more and sure enough there was more and they were coming across the road and coming across the road and we were just creeping up on them and they didn't know that we were there because um, we were quite a quite a ways away from them but we snuck up close enough and finally one bull as a younger bull he comes out in the middle of the road stops and looks at us and so i pull up and i shoot but i didn't have a bullet in the chamber <laughs> so i hurry up put one in the chamber and I shoot, and I don't know if you guys can hear it or not in the video, but Poppy's telling me, aim for the white patch on the throat. And Kalen didn't zoom in with the camera, so it's kind of hard to see um, that Neil guy way down there, but I shoot. That was a miss. Yes, sir. That's fine. I like missing. <laughs> Versus gut shot. And it was just a clean miss but that's okay it's better than a bad shot um, or just clipping it or something like that so anyway we move on down um, shake that one off keep on going and Poppy says hey there's there's a tank around here we're gonna go down the road just a little bit further and there's usually a lot of new guy that are hanging out in the pasture real close to it so we drive for a few minutes jump out of the Tom car and we sneak around the side of the dam and as we sneak around the side, uh, we couldn't get a real great view of the field the way that we wanted. So we came back um, to the tank side of the dam and we just walked down it. We keep the dam between us and that open field. Sneak all the way down. And as you guys will see, Poppy goes up the side of the tank and he's overlooking that entire field and he spots some no guy cows. So we come back down and we had probably, 
I don't know, I'd say about a hundred yard walk of us just going right down the side of the tank and right down the dam. <clears throat> we come around the corner as we get to the end of it and we see them, we spot them, and there's luckily there was a line of brush on our right side. We get down on our hands and knees and we're crawling and we're just shifting and working our way up. And we get these cows into position and I'm looking at one that was fairly light colored. And so I'm like, all right, that's a, and Poppy's telling me, he's like, that's the one I want you to shoot. Just wait till she gets clear and I'm holding on her and waiting and waiting, tr trying to be patient. And then he says, hey, look, there's another one. She's bigger, she's older, she's kind of skinny and drawn up. We need to take her. So she comes walking out into view and I shoot. And I'll let you guys view this clip real quick. Well, we watch this cow, she flops. And then immediately, Poppy swings, pulls up, and I had my ears plugged because he was right next to me, so I couldn't tell if there, if his shot was a hit or a miss on the other, one of those other new guy cows that was in the group. But anyway, we start searching around for my cow, and we saw her fall right there in the mix of those trees, and she was nowhere to be found. And we're like, what in the world? And Poppy and I are both like, why do we take our eyes off of off the cow that you had just shot? We, we both know better than to do that. And so we start looking and looking. We spent probably 10 minutes looking, and we finally find the cow that I had shot. She actually got up and ran probably 50 yards straight back, and then sh she fell over again. Um, we looked for an, another 20 minutes or so for the cow that Poppy could have potentially hit, never found any blood trails or anything like that. We're looking for this first cow. I'm pumped not my typical uh, bow hunting but super awesome anyway and so we uh, we gutted that one and it was a uh, it was really cool I think I have some footage if I do I'll be rolling it in right now of the the gutting process um, but it was a new way of, of skinning and cleaning larger animals like that and we used the tom car to pull that cow up into the tree and then commence to the gutting process um, but it was a very very neat experience and it was an honor to hunt under uh, Kalen's grandpa and had that opportunity if, if I'm not mistaken he's the the first person in the state of Texas to guide a uh, new guy hunt and so um, I feel very special and very thankful and grateful to have had the opportunity to be guided by him and it's just a it's really neat new guy antelope are incredibly keen animals their their eyesight is very very good and um, their sense of smell is of course great and they're an antelope so they can move pretty quick and again if i'm not if i'm not mistaken they are the world's largest antelope which is pretty neat in of itself and knowing that they're running around free range in south texas um, pretty cool but we had a great time and hopefully we'll get to go do it again hopefully um, I, I maybe i'll get to shoot a bull maybe i'll get to shoot some another cow um, who knows but uh, I'm super thankful and it was it was a great time all the way around I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode and I hope that you guys will click that thumbs up button for me and also go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already um, I'm gonna be traveling less now I'll be here home and doing a whole lot more hunting and then like I've been saying for the last couple of weeks the fishing is in full swing right now and we've just had some recent uh, flooding and some rains and things like that kind of slowed slowed the fishing down just a little bit but we'll be getting right back on it so I'm, I'm super excited for that and you guys don't want to miss it with all that being said thank you so much for watching and i will catch you guys in just a couple of days